Welcome to the beautiful PSU campus on this beautiful day. Thank you for coming. I'd like to welcome President Scott, Mrs. Scott, the honorees and their families, guests, faculty members, students, alumni, friends, and anybody who just happened to come by to see what's going on. They heard the refreshments at the end. My name is David Torbett. That's good, nothing was thrown. <laughs> and I have the honor of serving as the national president of the Pittsburgh State Alumni Association, which is quite an honor. The title's longer than the list of duties, I have to say, though. It is my pleasure, I, there we go, to welcome you to the campus of Pittsburgh State University and to the Jack H. Overman Student Center as we recognize the Ralph J. Thomas Distinguished Service Award recipients for 2016. The Pittsburgh State University Alumni Association established the Distinguished Service Award in 1991 to recognize volunteer service to Pittsburgh State University and presented the first award later that year to Dr. Ralph Thomas. In 2006, glasses are going again, it was renamed the Ralph J. Thomas Distinguished Service Award in memory of Dr. Thomas, who was a retired faculty member and volunteered for the Alumni Association for 22 years. These Distinguished Service Awards recipients have given great generosity of their time and ability for the betterment of the university and are an inspiration to all of us who love this extraordinary place. It's a special award and we're happy that you're here to share the moment with the recipients. To announce this year's recipients, it's my pleasure to welcome the Executive Director, and I'm about to read the longest title in the world, the Executive Director of the Pittsburgh State University Alumni Association and Director of the Office of Alumni and Constituent Relations, John Bartlow. Dr. Scott will join us as well as presentation of the awards presentations. John. Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the campus of Pittsburgh State University. And actually, to this year's recipients, I would be much better off saying a simple, welcome home. The Dr. Ralph J. Thomas Distinguished Service Award is presented for exemplary service, loyalty, and commitment to Pittsburgh State University. Dr. Thomas served this university for more than five decades as a faculty member, administrator, and as a volunteer in the Office of Alumni Relations. This year's honorees reflect his passion for student success and for Pittsburgh State University. If we have any past recipients in the room this afternoon, would you please wave your hand so we can recognize you with applause? Just in case we missed them. <laughs> this year we have two recipients of the Dr. Ralph J. Thomas Distinguished Service Award. They are Shirley Palmer and Monica hartong Mernan. Our first recipient this afternoon is Miss Shirley Palmer. Shirley, would you join me up here, please? Shirley has a long history of voluntary service and leadership at Pittsburgh State. She has served in leadership roles on the Alumni Association Board the PSU Foundation Board, the PSU Education Advisory Board, the Fort Scott Alumni Chapter, and as a PSU Phonathon volunteer. As Alumni Association National President, Shirley traveled throughout the nation to greet alumni at our Grella gatherings, and during her tenure hosted every home football game in the Rua Press Box. Shirley taught elementary school for 40 years, being named Kansas Teacher of the Year in 1982. In 2002, she was inducted into the Kansas Teachers Hall of Fame. One of my fondest memories of Shirley was during her term as National President of the Alumni Association. She developed the theme, Ignite Your Passion for Pittsburgh State, and actually designed lapel pins, I think you can see one that she's wearing right now, designed lapel pins that were given out to outstanding members of each alumni chapter. I know this because as the associate director in this office at that time, I traveled throughout the country with her 
a great deal during that year, and that's a, a great memory that I have. Shirley served seven years on the Kansas Board of Regents, including one term as president. In 1993, the Topeka Capital Journal named her one of seven Kansas of distinction. She also served as the Kansas State Representative for the 4th District for four years. She earned her Bachelor of Science in Elementary Education in 1965, her Master of Science in Elementary Education in 1971, and her Education Specialist degree in 1979, all from Pittsburgh State, I'm glad to say. Shirley and her husband, Ron, live on a farm near Fort Scott. They have two sons, Brian and Gary. It is with great pride that we present Shirley Palmer with the Ralph J. Thomas Distinguished Service Award for 2016. Congratulations, Shirley. And Dr. Scott has a proclamation. Shirley, if you'd like to say a few words. Thank you. Wow, what a day. It's beautiful outside and it's beautiful inside. Thank you so very much, Pittsburgh State University. I extend my heartfelt thanks and appreciation to you for all that you have done with me and for me through the many years. Standing here today as a recipient of the Dr. Ralph Thomas Distinguished Service Award is a very humbling and special experience. Because you see, I personally knew and worked with Dr. Thomas. We had a very unique and special friendship. He served as the full-time volunteer and coordinator of alumni chapters after his retirement from this university in 1979. He attended many of the Fort Scott chapter meetings and he loved the university and we all loved him. He wanted, and I might say expected, each of the guerrilla gatherings to have large crowds. The year I was chapter president in Fort Scott, we had over 100 alumni attend our guerrilla gathering and we even had the PSU pep band play for us at Gun Park. He was so proud of me that night, I never will forget his smile and hug. From Dr. Ralph Thomas, we learned that one service was required of each of us, that each one exemplifies and maintains in his or her own life a great love for and a great spirit of enthusiasm to Pittsburgh State. May his light ever shine in our memory, and may the glow live on through each of us as we continue to represent our alma mater. Those were the words that I shared earlier at Fort Scott. I would like to congratulate Monica for receiving this high honor as well. Ironically, we both have done many of the same things through the years. She is a very special person, a very talented person, and someone I'm very proud to call my friend. I have really enjoyed my time at Pittsburgh State. It has afforded me many opportunities, honors, friendships, and lots of fun. I especially enjoyed serving on the Kansas Board of Regents as the very first graduate of Pittsburgh State University the very first lady, and the very first school teacher. That experience <laughs> was, that experience was really special, and it would not have happened had I not been from Pittsburgh State. My seven years on the board were lots of work, but lots of fun. And I had to be fair and represent all of the other university uh, as well, but let me tell you, Pittsburgh State was never forgotten or left out. My years of service as Pittsburgh State alumni on the alumni board, working closely with alumni directors Ken Bateman, 
Mindy Collinger, John Bartlow, and Shauna was a wonderful and unique experience for me. I took early retirement from teaching school in Fort Scott when I received a call one day from then alumni director Ken Bateman. He approached me for considering becoming the national president of the Alumni Association. If I did that, I knew it would take my time away from the classroom, and I wanted to devote 100% of my time to that position if I chose to do it. And I chose to retire early and become your president. I enjoyed traveling all over the country promoting Pittsburgh State. I love wearing crimson and gold and visiting the university whenever I can. I'm not sure who cheered the loudest when President Donald Wilson and myself were in the stands rooting for those guerrilla football game victories. But let me tell you folks, they knew we were both there. <laughs> education has been a priority in my life. I enjoyed serving on the Education Advisory Council and working with many of the college presidents and deans of education. In fact, something special happened to me with each president since 1965, and for that, I am very truly and grateful and honored. PSU, your many acts of kindness and honors bestowed upon me through the years will remain a lifetime memory. My years as a gorilla have been filled with blessings, and my gratitude is real. How can a human heart convey the sincere thanks that I do feel? For all the many acts of kindness, for all the projects shared, for all of you who have played a part, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. At this time, I would like to introduce some very special people who are here today who are very near and dear to me. First, my husband, Ron Palmer, we have been married nearly 54 years, and he is the love of my life. Thank you for being here, Ron. <laughs> he has attended Pittsburgh State University as well. Our younger son, Gary Palmer, and his wife, Kyleen, are from Fort Scott, and I'm happy that they are able to be with us today. He is a professional photographer in Fort Scott, so if you need someone to take your picture besides Malcolm, I have a photographer to suggest. A special, special friends from Leavenworth, Kansas, Ron and Joanne Pfeiffer. They drove all the way from Leavenworth to be with me today. Ron and I grew up right across the street in Garland, I won't say how many years ago, but he has a twin brother, and his mother and I would push Ron and Don up and down the streets of Garland day after day in their strollers. And we have remained close, and he's just like a brother that I never had. So thank you for being here. Another special person in my life is Marcel Norman. He is a special friend and one of my favorite teachers from Fort Scott Community College. He was in charge of leadership when I was a sophomore at Fort, Sp Fort Scott Community College, and he encouraged me to get involved with leadership and encouraged me to run for student body president. I didn't think that could ever happen, but I became the first girl president in the history of Fort Scott to become student body president due to Marcel Norman's encouragement. Special friend, we've remained close through the years. Thank you so much for being here. There are many, many other special friends. I know Kawita, um, Bryant is here. She and I were high school uh, classmates, and we have remained very close through the years, and I've enjoyed working with her husband, Tom, as well. And many others are here that I appreciate your being here so much. Thank you for being here for Monica and for me. In closing, since this is Apple Day, and you know an elementary teacher has to throw in something about apples, <laughs> I'd like to share and leave with you this apple thought. Anyone can count the seeds in the apple. Only God can count the apples in a seed. Time is the most valuable gift that we can give one another. 
for in sharing our time, we also can share our love. Pittsburgh State University, I've enjoyed my time with you. I love you all. You are the apple of my eye. Ignite your passion for PSU, and let's continue to grow and glow. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Shirley. Our next recipient is Monica Mernan. Monica, would you please join me? Monica has served two terms on the Alumni Association National Board of Directors with one of those years as president. In addition to representing our university at alumni functions throughout the nation, Monica has also provided important leadership to the College of Education through her service on the Education Advisory Board. Monica began her professional career as a K-1 teacher in Wichita. Later, she returned to Pittsburgh to serve as the Executive Director of the Family Resource Center, where for 15 years she worked with and mentored the numerous Pittsburgh State students who worked there. It is no exaggeration to say that the Family Resource Center would not have the outstanding reputation it has today without Monica's leadership. Currently, she serves as the Director of Student Support Services at the Southeast Kansas Education Service Center, Greenbush. Monica has stated that her overriding goal is seeking equal access for all, whether it be in education, health care, or mental health. Along those lines, she was a founding board member of the Community Health Center and has served on the boards for Wesley House and the Pittsburgh Public Library. She continues to provide leadership in her community, having served as mayor of Pittsburgh and currently serving in her third term on the city commission. She earned her Bachelor of Science in Education in 1987 and her master's degree in Special Services and Leadership Studies in 1994 both from the right place, Pittsburgh State University. It is with great pride, Monica, that we present you today the Dr. Ralph J. Thomas Distinguished Service Award. And Dr. Scott would like to present you with a proclamation. Monica, the mic is all yours. Well, there's two ways to look at this. A smart girl does not follow Shirley Palmer. <laughs> but I choose to say a smart girl follows in Shirley Palmer's footsteps. So thanks, Shirley, very much. Um, real quick, I, I want to introduce a, a few folks that, uh, that are here. Over here is my mom. She's in the polka dot. Um, her name is Carol. And some of you may know her by her cooking. Um, a lot of you in this room know her by her cooking, but um, she's my mom. And, this, and she's going to be 80 in a couple weeks, and she's thrilled about it. And, uh, <laughs> and this is her sister, my aunt, Aunt Virginia Hamasack, from the greater uh, metropolitan area of Frontenac. And so uh, those are uh, my, some of my family here. My husband, Rob, is over there in the back. And um, on the computer there, we have um, four guests um, coming to us, one from... Kansas City, um, Alexandria, our oldest daughter, is on the line. And then we have her husband, Andy Chimopoulos, finally a boy in the Mernan family. And he's at work in Kansas City also. We have Francesca, I believe, is on there. And she's coming in on the West Coast from Seattle, where she's finishing up her master's. And then Gabrielle is on also from Washington, DC. And I just have to say it, from the White House. <laughs> um, so. <laughs> And she's just going to be thrilled that I said that. She'll say, actually, I'm in the building next door, which is OK. Um, there's some other really nice people here that I work with and have worked with in the past and have worked for. And gosh, thanks for pulling it all the way over here to do that. Um, not everybody can say their driver's ed teacher is here. Um, <laughs> but he is, and um, also my high school counselor is here. Mr. and Mrs. Dunning are here from the greater reaches of Neosho County. So, um, and I see some more Greenbush friends back there. So thank you guys for coming all the way over here. I don't, um, 
want to keep you very long. Everybody needs to be outside doing something fun. But um, luckily for you, I've written some things down, I'm not going to talk off the cuff. Um, so first of all, thanks, seriously, um, for this honor. No way on earth is it deserved, but if, if received in humbleness and, and with thanks. Um, I've really never thought of serving the university. That's not a phrase that I think about just as giving back for a great start that I got when I came over here from Erie. When I came to PSU, I had the honor of working with three women who I later realized helped frame what my mom and dad had started when um, I came to work here. For with Mrs. Minton, some of you remember her, Carolyn Didier, and dear Bobby Omi. They were not instructors, but my employers. Um, their get-it-done attitude and what is best for students' actions matched what I had already learned at home and set the tone for me sharing those same theories with the hundreds of Pittsburgh State students who worked at the center with me. As with most service, I think you would agree you usually get more back than you give, and that has been the case. Um, in this working with the students um, in the form of being a part of their lives as they found their way in their sea legs. To get paid for helping someone get their education is a real, quite honestly, just a real deal for me. So <laughs> that was just a, an unexpected delight. I appreciate the positive relationship that the university has with the city as I continue to try to serve in that capacity. That's not by accident or by chance. <clears throat> it's based on meaningful work and clear communication, two things that I respect and try to spend most of my time engaging in. I truly do look forward to continuing to serve the university in whatever way I can, either by picking up trash as the walking ladies plow through here about every few days. Steve laughs, he just dreads it when I walk through because usually I have a comment. And it's usually a good one though, that's just true. But we'll continue to pick up trash or do anything that I can for a student along the way. And I truly hope that I'll be able to continue to serve the university in an expanded capacity at some point in time at the state level so we can really focus on infrastructure and support for the students who will be here in 10 or 15 or 20 years. So thank you so much. I really do appreciate it, and I really do appreciate the kids coming in and giving up your time now. Everybody needs to go back to work. So thanks again. <laughs> But Monica, we can't go back to work. We have more celebrating to do. There's another <laughs> celebration. So everyone, thank you uh, once again for being here this afternoon. I want to say a special thanks once again and one more round of applause for Shirley Palmer and Monica Mernan. <laughs> People like you really, uh, really make, make my job absolutely wonderful and, and you're a huge part of why this university is such a successful place. So thank you very much for all that you do. Those of you who came here uh, on their behalf today, uh, we really appreciate you taking time out of your afternoon to be here. Uh, we would like to continue the celebration. And so uh, in McRae Hall, in the Sharon K. Dean Recital Hall, to be specific, at 3 o'clock, we have Apple Day Convocation. And we've got uh, more recognitions for, uh, for these ladies and uh, recognitions for uh, outstanding faculty and Golden Gorilla winners and many other things that are going on. We also have Kendall Gammon speaking today, so that'll be a treat for all of us as well. So we hope you will join us in the Sharon K. Dean Recital Hall at 3 o'clock. And uh, in the meantime, we've got some more refreshments. We've got uh, some more goodies here, some more drinks. So uh, please feel free to hang around. I would suggest, because it fills up pretty quickly, maybe uh, making your way towards McRae Hall in about 15 minutes. And we have a couple of golf carts out at the famous Wooster Gorilla, which is on the south side of the building. You guys all know the Wooster Gorilla, right? OK. Um, the golf carts will be there. If you need a ride to McRae Hall, feel free to hop on one of those. And uh, we will also have a bus running from McRae Hall back to the Alumni Center after convocation, if any, any of you parked at the Alumni Center and need a ride back. But it is a beautiful day, and some of you might want to walk as well. So once again, thank you very much for being here, whether you're here from the White House, Kansas City, or just our Pittsburgh State campus. Have a great afternoon.